What's good, everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach, and today we're taking a look at the all new Vaporize from Brunswick. Before we fire this one up, though, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it's the best way to help us help you get into the right pieces of equipment, regardless of your skill level or playing style. Plus, at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be painting myself blue like Mega Mind and releasing our top five blue bowling balls of all time video. So while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too, so you don't miss out. The cohesion additive makes its way to the Brunswick brand in the all new Vaporize. This angular animal features the classic low RG zone asymmetric core with a moderately strong 017 intermediate diff, but the real magic is in the cover stock. The HK22C Evo Pearl cover takes so many elements out of successful pieces from the last few years, puts them all together, finished a 1500 compound out of the box, all with the intent of giving bowlers a usable but still very clean high performance piece. So with that design intent, I decided to lean in with the layout as well. The four and a half by five and a half by four and a half 2LS layout is meant to help this piece stay clean through the middle part of the lane, but once it changes directions, for it to be exceptionally continuous through the pins. If we're being real, there's a slim chance I'm ever gonna use this one right of third arrow on a house shot, so knowing it's going to be used on the inside part of the lane, I wanted to give it the very best opportunity to run the eight pin over every time. And on the lanes, I got everything I had hoped for out of the Vaporize. There were a number of shots that, even though this piece is hardly broken in, I knew were going to be strikes as soon as I let them go. There's no hesitation in performance, and the pin action generated likely by the Dynamicore technology makes striking extra simple. But my favorite part about throwing the Vaporize was the fact that even though it's a very clean option, it never felt uncontrollable. The Pearl cover definitely overdid it a few times as I tried to find some lines near the outside part of the lane, but once I got into the sweet spot, it blended the friction really well and tunneled the ball straight into the 1-3. And to be able to do that on fresh conditions with a piece like this is pretty wild if you ask me. But even though I think this shape is pretty awesome, of course there are some downsides, but the biggest one is how you really do have to deliver this ball well to see good results. The Vaporize will reward you greatly if you throw it well, and it will punish you thoroughly if you throw it poorly. The inconsistencies in your release will be more pronounced with this one than maybe with some other options, all with the trade-off of great results when you do your part well. And if that's a deal you're willing to make, I would suggest pairing this one with a DV8 Wicked Collision and an Ebonite Fireball Purple and Gold. The Wicked Collision also features that cohesion formula, but on a slower reacting solid cover stock. And the Fireball PG is a controllable pearl that is at least a full zone, if not two full zones, weaker than the Vaporize. In fact, there's a good chance that I personally will show up to my first week of league with those three options in tow. Now jumping to our cross brand comparisons, I first took a look at the Crimson Jackal from Motive, and here I see a shape that is just a touch weaker overall, but also softer off the spot. Now that's partially due to a difference in layout, but the way the cover reacts with this lane surface stands out more to me as the Jackal doesn't seem to grab quite as hard, so lower ball speed players will likely prefer this one for motive. Then I took a look at the Harsh Reality Pearl from 900 Global, and here the biggest difference that stands out is actually the core dominance in this Harsh Reality. The ball starts to shape through the middle part of the lane much sooner as that core really gets going earlier than the Vaporize, but then both pieces are very continuous through the pins, so speed dominant players will likely match up a touch better with this one from 900. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers I think would match up well with the Vaporize from Brunswick. The first is balanced bowlers. If your ball speed is around 15 to 16 miles per hour and your rev rate is between 350 and 400, make no mistake about it, you're just gonna love the Vaporize. It'll allow you to stay on top of friction for extended periods of time and then keep up with the move as you chase hold inside without sacrificing a ton of your carry percentage. The second recommendation is for low axis rotation bowlers as the Vaporize has the power to do all the work for you to mash through the pins. This thing makes angle, so gone are the days of these players
players having to spin the ball when they move inside. The Vaporize will allow you to move inside without needing to trick the ball at the bottom of your swing to keep kicking the corners out. The all new Vaporize combines a proven engine and potentially an industry changing cover formula to create an astounding shape on the lane and in the right hands could be what you need to vaporize your competition. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Ryan Shafransky for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.